Put on your spacesuit and get ready for a long trip because we're about to blast off with five crazy cool, epic, awesome, buddy, weird, wild, unexpected, true <gasps> facts about Mars. Number five, the Mars rover Curiosity. Sure, it might look like a derpy real life Wally, but the rover is actually very high tech. Curiosity has 17 cameras on board that can take pictures as small as 12.5 microns, and that's smaller than the width of a human hair. Hmm, bet your iPhone can't do that. It has a built-in nuclear power plant that can generate electricity to power the rover for over 14 years if needed. And it weighs almost 2,000 pounds on Earth, about the same weight as a small car. The rover descended to Mars at a speed of 13,200 miles per hour. In fact, its entry period was called the Seven Minutes of Terror, because if everything didn't go exactly according to plan, the rover would have crashed. And there was good reason for terror. Of the 39 missions to the Red Planet, 24 have failed. Luckily for space lovers everywhere, Curiosity's landing was almost perfect. Oh, and did you know Curiosity isn't alone on Mars? <laughs> no, there's no Martians up there that we know of. But there are two other rovers, Spirit and Opportunity. Spirit is no longer functioning, but Opportunity has been cruising around Mars since 2004. Hopefully the planet's big enough for the two of them. Oh man, we should have equipped Curiosity with a laser pistol. Number four, life on Earth may have come from Mars. That's right. As new discoveries are made, it seems more and more likely to experts that life may have made the trek through space and crash landed on Earth. Respected scientists like geochemist Stephen Benner have said that the two elements necessary for life were almost certainly unavailable on Earth millions of years ago, but were likely present on Mars. The basic idea is that super simple organisms may have managed to stow away on meteorites from Mars and travel millions of miles to Earth. From there, these tiny microorganisms grew and evolved and became more and more complex, and now, well, we're here. So if there's ever a Martian invasion, fear not. They might just be coming home for the family reunion. Number three, Martian Dust Devils. On Earth, a dust devil is the name for a strong and relatively long-lived whirlwind that looks a lot like a tornado. On Mars, though, dust devils can be over 10 times taller than their Earth counterparts. On our own planet, they rarely exceed a mile tall, but documented Martian dust devils have reached a gargantuan 12 miles high. That's more than double the height of Mount Everest. And they're not just tall. On Earth, large dust devils can be over 65 feet in diameter. But on Mars, they can be over 3,000 feet wide! Oh yeah, it's gonna take more than a dust buster to take care of that one. Number two, did you know that Mars has its own flag? Well, it does. The tricolor flag, designed in 1998 by NASA scientist Pascal Lee, is meant to symbolize a future Mars that's been colonized by humans. The red bar on the left symbolizes Mars as it is today a red ball of dust in the sky that can't support human life. The green and blue represent the possible terraforming of Mars, which would transform it from a red rusty dust ball to a green planet covered in water, plants, and life. The flag is mainly used by Mars advocacy organizations like the Mars Society, who promote human exploration and settlement on the red planet. It is worth noting, however, that the flag isn't official, as the UN's Outer Space Treaty forbids any government on Earth from claiming a celestial body for themselves. You know, to avoid any unnecessary space wars. Ooh, I'm gonna get my lightsaber. And finally, our number one out of this world fact about the red planet, there's water! Water, what's the big deal with that, right? Wrong, it's a huge deal! For decades, scientists have hypothesized that Mars may have had water a long time ago. Winding channels that look like dry riverbeds have been seen in images of Mars for years, but experts can say with relative confidence that Mars has water right now, too. What does that mean? Well, according to Chris Carberry, director of the nonprofit organization Explore Mars, quote, it implies that there's some sort of heat source keeping the water liquefied. And here on Earth, whenever you have heat and water, 100% of the time you have life. So while we're not likely to find advanced Martian civilizations, it could mean simple organisms like bacteria could be alive on Mars right now, like actual real life Martians. And the other majorly awesome part, the discovery of water could give future astronauts who travel to Mars a source of water and even oxygen on the red planet's surface. So while water on Mars might not mean alien cities, it could mean human cities one day in the future. 
So study up, because if you play your cards right, you just might be on the first spaceship flight to colonize Mars. Which sounds pretty cool to me. And there they are, five out of this world facts about Mars. What's your favorite fact about the solar system? Let us know by commenting below, and make sure to check out five facts about the galaxy if you're not ready to come back to Earth quite yet. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day and new five facts every Saturday. I'm your host and, oh, wait, I think my spaceship just blasted off without me. Oh no, I'm stuck on Mars. If you're listening to this, please send help for a sandwich. There's not much food up here. Hey, look, a Martian. Oh, never mind, that's the Mars rover. Hey, what's up, little guy? Oh no, someone gave him that pistol we mentioned earlier.